brakes, caliper, rear derailleur. Chain, jockey wheels, helmet, brake pad, pump. Multi tool, tire, handlebars, reflector. Grease, oil, seat, down tube, top tube, seat post, saddle, lights, valve. Everyone comes to you like a, you know, beast to a hunt, and it's like they're all saying, oh, I'm, you know, it's not since I was a kid, that it's somehow associated with childhood, I think, for a lot of people, how they used to have a bike and they don't do it anymore, and if you say, do you want to have a go? I'm Polly, Polly Webber, and I was one of the founder members of the Alternative Technology Centre. We set up in 1999, so that's 15 years ago. The cycle part of things we set up about five years ago. The idea of Cycle Recycle is, that, is to get people to donate bikes they don't want anymore. We do it up and sell them back to the community for affordable prices. So this is where the bikes, the donated bikes come in and all the details are logged. And they're brought into the main workshop here and they're assessed and as I said they're stripped down, rebuilt. And it's telling that story, I suppose, of the bike. This is what it was like and this is how it cleaned up and this is where it's gone on. So yeah, this is where we then put the bikes for sale, so as you can see um, the price depends on the sort of bike it is. actually understand how your bike works. If you understand how it works, it, then it logically follows to maintain your bike. So, um, you know, you, you imagine sort of a chain going round this whole system. 
and you realise it does need oiling once in a while, you know. And you don't have to be crazy about it, you just have to just keep an eye on it. You see a spot of rust on your chain, maybe it's time to put some WD-40 on it or something, you know. Tire pressure, keep your tire pressure up, it makes your life so much easier. Um, low tire pressure will just make your bike riding much more difficult. Saddle height is a massive one, um, and it's not very hard to do. Um, we do it for free in here. You can just come in, we will adjust your saddle height, but, but totally for free. It'll make your life so much easier. And we've got bikes that come in here that have been handed down from people's granddads, and they're still using their bikes, you know? We just have to, you know, modernise some things. That's, that's all there is to it. With commuting, you kind of you are subjecting yourself to the stereotypical motoring commuter. Yeah, people aren't having a great time in car, <laughs> and most people I know who are stuck in a you know stuck in a car for an hour commuting just get angry and just get really fed up. So you you, you kind of you bear the brunt of their you know of their anger sometimes, and I've been chased after in a car. I've had people like throw things at me. Unfortunately, the road culture in the, in the country for drivers is horrendous. Um, we're not given space. And that's partially affected by the cyclists themselves, who frankly act like idiots on the road, you know, breaking red lights, not stopping at stop signs, turning left without looking right into oncoming traffic. It's just stupid stuff. And that's the problem that happens is a lot of drivers see that and then they're not willing to get on a bike because they think they themselves are going to be not necessarily that person, but they're going to suffer the brunt of the anger that they frankly have given to, to riders as well. I know you ride in Manchester yourself, it's, it's not the safest city to ride in. And it's not any one population group, you know, it's, it's not just the buses, it's not just the taxis, it's not just the cars, it's everyone. Um, but the other side is I think a lot of people are afraid to ride because they don't know how to do so safely. Negative from external people for certain. Mainly potholes and pack cars. I've been pushed off my bike while riding along a road. Because obviously if you are at the side of the road you then have to make a conscious effort to move out into the flow of traffic. I've had a milkshake thrown at me before. Their response can be a bit a bit aggressive sometimes even though I'm just trying to keep myself safe they see it as being me impeding their way basically. Uh, kick footballs at me. Um, yeah I mean it's not, it's not part and parcel. It's not something that happens on a daily basis. Sometimes it can be a bit of a gravel, to be honest with you. It's just one of those things really that just happens. Yeah, definitely. I've definitely had negative effects from externals looking at me. The last time I um, was out riding on the main road, I got knocked off by a car, which freaked me out quite a lot. And I don't, um, it makes me very nervous on the road now. I'm sure a lot of us have heard that uh, one of our clan members has passed away recently. So, we're going to be heading south to the um, where the ghost bike is, where he you know, passed away. I knew, I knew Josh from home. Uh, we both ended up studying at uh, university here. Uh, Josh was one of the most colourful characters you could possibly meet. Um, and he was he was so talented too. He studied film. If you ever get a moment, you can check out his film, The Projectionist. It's 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 brilliant. But I, w I wouldn't wish the last um, fortnight that I've had on anyone. Um, so because of that, I, I want to try and put as much effort as possible in it, raising awareness for safe cycling. And if, if anyone wants to get involved in that, just get in touch. I, I'm, I'm keen to hear anything. Um, so if you'd all just like to join us in a, in a minute's silence from 
I'd really appreciate it. Thanks. Liberating, active, speed, and ease. Keeps me fit, keeps me going, positive, sharp. Magically liberating, empowering. At times dangerous. Exercise, enjoyment, vitality. Fun, fast, and dangerous. Risky, uh, freedom, flying. It's very good for your, your legs. What can I say? The earth. <laughs> <laughs> it's a funny position to be in uh, cycling in the UK today. You know, you do have to be safe out there um, on a bike, but as a, as a mode of transport, it's, it's freedom. That's what it is. I mean, it's a freedom to choose the way that you get from A to B do it there's so many benefits to it uh, you get fit you, you feel healthy um, you can pretty much eat what the hell you want um, because you just burn off so much you know so much cal so many calories um, and you will I've always found that the people who are physically active and who ride not just riding bikes I mean run swim do whatever they're just a lot happier. They're going to be they're going to be happier people for, for sure, definitely. Think of how much it costs you to get in to work every day. Actually, sit down, do the math, and just look at the price of it. You know, you're probably talking if you get the bus every day to and from work. So you're talking 300 quid a year. You can get from A to B at very low cost and get fit at the same time. You don't have to take this extra time. You know, um, I have this really peaceful time when I cycle home. There's no one, nothing. There's just me and my bike. You know, most cyclists are pretty approachable people um, because there's one thing you have in common and it's got two wheels. And that's, that's why they'll talk to each other, which is good. You can't pinpoint a cyclist. It's, it's, you, don't, you can't have this image in your head of somebody who is a cyclist. There are all these, just this mass variety of people from all walks of life who have this one common thing. And it's amazing how how much it bonds them, that's, that's phenomenal and that's really apparent in Manchester.